Welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton here at Lytham Golf Academy. I've got a driver head-to-head -head here for you with the Ping G400 LS Tech, so the Ping's low-spin driver. And I'm going to put that up against TaylorMade M1 460 driver, again, and it's a bit of a low-spin setting. So, two sort of heavyweight drivers, really. Um, both, obviously, very, very sort of popular. G400 is only just launching as I'm uh, doing this sort of video. Obviously, M1's been out for the for early uh, 2017 um, but we've seen some very very good performance numbers with that through our fitting so I'm going to put these two together I've got them both in the hazardous um, shafts here both in 6.0 so both stiff uh, both nine and a half degree on the sorry sorry both on nine degree on the lofts and I've moved the tailor-made weight setting uh, neutral on the front sliding weight and the back weight into its forward position which makes it more low spin and obviously I've got the LST in the um, ping there, which is their low spin version. Okay, so we're going to put these up against each other. We're going to have a little look on the looks and feel, obviously uh, the feedback I'm going to give you, but also then look at some numbers th obviously through GC2 launch monitor, maybe differences of spin, launch, and obviously distance as well. Okay, good. So we're going to start off with a tailor-made M1 drive. So as I say, this is the 460cc head, but at 9 degree, Hazardous yellow, 6.0 in stiff flex. Now I've set myself up on the 18th hole here at Pebble Beach on the simulator. So quite a demanding tee shot here um, on a very famous golf hole here. So we're maybe just going to look at a little bit of, of shot dispersion as well as obviously distance and um, spin numbers and speed and everything. So we'll get the first one hit here. Yeah, it feels very good. Obviously, I do like the tailor-made drive. It, it, I like the sound, that muted sound of that composite titanium sort of mix there. That was a bad opening drive there. I'll take that most of the day. So, obviously, with the, with the weight coming more forward here, we should be still hopefully seeing some more low spin numbers here. As we know, Strike can play around with these spin numbers here, but hopefully, I'm going to get some lower spin numbers here with the M1 driver. So that was a nice opening tee shot there. I take that every day of the week. Um, so obviously with TaylorMade here, I mean, the, I'm a big fan of the look of this driver. Um, obviously it's very different to other drivers in terms of the two tone here, but you know it's very appealing to me. As I say, I like the muted sound because of the titanium composite mix there, and generally it gives me some good sort of numbers. So let's have this second one a hit. Feels really solid, looks a very sort of powerful flight. Just tug that, it's gonna hang on a little bit. Yeah, just caught that rough up the left there. Just go over, turn that slightly there, but really quite a low, powerful flight. So obviously I'm getting that uh, front, uh, so that back weight into that front section here. So that's obviously gonna promote that slightly lower ball flight, maybe a slightly lower spin number there. But again, we're gonna have a look at those numbers to see if that is actually happening. Hit that really well. Yeah, that's just launched a fraction higher there. Just hanging in there, that's quite a long shot there. I only still thought that would be a bit longer. I mean, that's pretty good, decent length of 299. I'm more than happy with that. The way I struck that and the flight, I'd expected that to only get over 300 there. Obviously, nice and straight, more than happy with that. Um, be interested to look at spin number there because that felt like it was slightly high in the face. Pop that launch up a little bit and should have pulled quite a bit of spin off, which is where I expect them to sort of get up to that 310 sort of area there, really. Oh, I've really hit that one. That looks really low spin. Just pulled fraction. I've just caught that rough there. 275 carry. Probably not as long there. 24 spin. I thought that, that, that looks and, and the way I've struck that feels like it's going to be a lot more lower spinning than that. A little bit maybe disappoint those numbers, but anyway, let's put ping up against it now. So I'll hit about shots with ping, then we'll have a real look at some numbers. Right, so ping G400, LS Tech, low spin technology. So also what ping have done here against the standard G400 head is that weighted screw on the sole is supposed to move fractionally forward and the tungsten weight is now flipped from that back edge and move more to the other side of the heavier weight in terms of closer to the club face. This is just moving CG just slightly further forward towards the club face. 
obviously it's to promote, to promote that sort of lower launch, lower spin characteristics. Same shaft as the TaylorMade, same flex and everything. First thing I really feel here, I mean obviously the looks is different, you know, with the Dragonfly, and I've, I've done this, and I've said this many times in the past, I'm a big fan of that look. The first thing I really feel there though, is it just feels a little bit lighter, to be honest. Um, that's maybe the one thing for me personally with M1, is it sometimes just feels a little bit heavy in the head. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. It just sometimes feels a bit hard work to swing it. Possibly my numbers there aren't as much as when I hit it, I think, God, I struck that really well. I'm just not maybe getting out as much as what I want. Um, whereas when I pick this up, this feels a, 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 bit, a lot lighter, but basically it just feels like I can create a little bit more speed. It'd be interesting to look at if there's any differences on speed numbers here. Okay, let's get to this first one hit with the G400 LST. That's a good strike. It just feels a little bit easier to swing there straight away. That's a nice opening tee shot behind the fairway, which is good. Wow. I've hit that one. Yeah, that's a great tee shot there. I really hit that one well. Trundling over that 300. Yeah, get up 309, really good there. And that'll spin at 24, just under two and a half thousand spins. So a lower spin there, but a really good sort of shape on that tee shot. Obviously, get that run out there quite nicely. Obviously, with the ping there, it's a very different sound to the TaylorMade. You know, it's a little bit louder. It's not too loud, but it is a little bit louder than that muted. With, with, with you generally get with that composite titanium sort of mix in the head. So it's a little bit louder there, but a, a nice sound. It's a better sound than the previous G model, which was a little bit louder again, really. Um, but it just feels that little bit, I don't know, that little bit easier to sort of swing uh, the club. Maybe it's just that little bit light in the head. It just feels easier to get through the golf ball a little bit more. Yeah, that's a nice shot again. Just missing that tree there. Okay, yeah, 289. It's not the longest, but it's straight. It feels good. Strike felt okay there. What's that spin up at 29? Maybe it was, must have been a little bit low in the face there. I didn't really feel that. Probably just shows the, the forgiveness of these drivers nowadays. Okay, so we're going to hit the last one. Okay, that was a bit, I just fell back off that one a little bit there. It was a, again, a tiny bit lower the face. That spin's probably just crept up. Yeah, is it that 3,000 mark there? Fairly straight golf shot, just, I just fell back on that one a little bit there. Okay, so let's go and have a look at some numbers there between those two drivers and see if there's anything, if anyone's got a little bit of an edge over the other. Right then, so let's have a look at some numbers here. So obviously we've got M1 on the top, G400 LST on the bottom. So let's start with club head speed, pretty much identical, 114 mile an hour. Ball speed, absolutely identical. Smash efficiency, 1.45, absolutely identical. Okay, launch, tiny bit lower, degree lower the ping there, probably because of that couple of low ones in the face there. I could do with, I'm probably on both of those really, getting that launch up a little bit more to really maybe help on my uh, distance numbers and spin numbers a little bit. Uh, so M1 was spinning at two and a half, uh, ping was two eight. So slightly more with a ping there, but as I say, the last two, as we saw there, the strikes were just a little bit low in the face. So obviously that just pops that spin up. So that was a little bit more strike dependent there. So probably maybe take those out, put some half decent strikes, probably similar sort of area, two and a half sort of mark. Carry distance 274, 271. Taylor made three yards, but again, probably because of those little low strikes in the face, it's just popped that spin up and that's just pulled the, the, the last two shots down there. You can probably just see in terms of that carry distance. Right guys, so there we have it. Uh, G400 LST against M1. So you can see there between the numbers, there's not a massive amount in it. And probably if anything, that strike slightly low in the face with the G400 has just pulled those three yards of difference off between the two clubs. Other than that, pretty identical on clubhead speed and ball speed. And the clubhead speed surprised me a little bit because as I said, I was going through hitting those shots. M1 felt a little bit heavier than G400, so generally I would have thought I was, I, I, I probably 
put some money on that, that would have been a slower club head speed and G400 would be slightly quicker. But look at the numbers there, they're absolutely identical. So it just goes to show, you know, feel there. I, I felt that that was quicker, but it's not. Okay, ball speed was absolutely identical between the two shots there on an average. So, you know, two obviously very good drivers there. Um, there's, there's a little bit more fine tuning there that I could probably do in terms of trying to get my launch up to get my spin down. Obviously, that'll help my carry distance there. But that's a little bit more me than the actual golf club itself. You know, so but I think very two really good drives in that low spin category there for you guys to maybe go out and try. Okay. Thanks for watching. Do comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this video. If there's any other videos you want me to play and be put any either of these drivers up against, then obviously do comment down below. Let me know. Share the video around with your friends. Um, do hook up on my social media, you know, my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. It'd be good to catch up with you guys on there. And uh, hit that subscribe button and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.